Hey, good evening. Enjoy your meal, coach. Hey, hello. Thank you very much. Welcome to the class, everybody. Hey, teacher. Good hello. evening. Good evening. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, everybody, welcome to the last class. Time flies. My, we finished already. Uh, five weeks of English. And of course, I hope everybody goes to the next, uh, to the next level, okay? So let me check who is missing some parts of the, of the platform yet. So Aida Isabel is still missing. Let me see who else is. And I believe that she's the only one. So uh, do you still have problems with the platform, Aida? Yes, in the exercise uh, 1.5 and the unique number one, just that, I guess. Absolutely. But the rest is completed. Vale, dice que aquí me sale que le de... falta una parte o la mitad de una parte de la semana 1, de la semana 2, de la semana 3, toda la semana, de la semana 4, toda la semana. El midterm test. No, Link. En sale, serio. Sí, le salen 80 al midterm test y le bueno. falta el examen final. Entonces, eh, hagamos el que usted me dice. So, let's check into that one. What is the exercise you say? One point. Yes, 1.5, the unique number one. Mm -hmm. 1.5, let me just go there. Okay, the second one, and the third one, and the fifth one. Yeah, we can check into that one. So, yeah, here we have the 1.5. Este también ya lo habíamos revisado. So, you can check here. So. Pero es que, um, sí, lo que pasa es que, vaya, yo vi... Eh, O sea, lo hice ya y de hecho una de ellas está en el en el examen y solo literal, solo la cort, la copié y la pegué y en el otro lado sí me sale bien y aquí no. Lo que pasa es cuando que cuando copia y pega a veces eh, si se va a un espacio de más porque a veces cosas así pasan no se la agarra. Tiene que borrar todo y digitarla otra vez. Eso es lo que tiene que hacer. Pero fue al revés, o sea, del malo lo pasé al bueno. O mm -hmm. sea, del malo ah, solo okay. copié y lo pasé al... Y me salió bueno al otro lado. Porque sabía, o sea, sé que esa es la respuesta correcta. Va, tiene que haber algo en su lado que está causando que no lo tome bien. Porque esto, así como se lo estoy mostrando a usted, lo vimos todos en clase y todos los demás lo tenemos bien. Entonces, habría que... Bueno, no lo tengo mal. Ah, todo, sí, todo el mundo la tiene. Contra mí. No, a Algo. veces es, es un puntito, es una letra, es una de mayúscula. Hecho, ajá, también hice eso, borré de punto, le puse un punto otra vez, o sea, ay, la verdad que me estresé. Sí, me mire, así, así como está aquí, así es, así se lo, lo hicimos con todo lo demás. Usted lo revisa y lo va haciendo de un solo conmigo. Eh, the manager would rather. Would ajá, rather. Ajá. Ask mm -hmm. the creative team to design, to design. a relaunch mm -hmm. of the product, period. Yeah. Okay, that is correct. 
Ah, ok. Es el a... correcto. Uh -huh. Ah, ese se lo tiene. Vale. Entonces vamos a ver uh -huh. si. The other one says many distributors would much. Mm, would mm. much or would rather much? Because would, it's the, o sea, en la plataforma está would rather much. No, it's would much rather. Mm, hmm. Okay, I would much that. rather sell a product at a lower price. Share a product, uh -huh, product at lower price. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ah, pues sí. okay. Then, la número tres la tiene buena o no? No. Nope. They will rather withdraw mm -hmm. the product. Aquí hay un error. Dan, ah, no, está bien. Dan introduce it in new markets. It, introduce it. O sea, le agrego ahí el it. It, sí, introduce. De hecho, ah. aquí está, en el ejercicio aquí está, miren, introduce. Ajá, ajá, sí, 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 sí. Ah, ya, yeah, pues ahí me había equivocado. Uy, lo uh -huh. sé. ¿El número 4 lo tiene bien o lo tiene? Eh, no, el 4 está bien. Va, ¿y el 5? Uh -huh. No, el 5 está mal. Va, many more uh -huh. companies would rather become Mm -hmm. The low cost provider mm -hmm. of a product with a great caution about war prices. Ajá, vaya, ese, ese así está y me sale vale. errado. Aquí lo que pasa a veces es que este guión, si usted pone un símbolo que se parezca al guión, pero no es el guión, con eso ya estamos. ¿En qué? Vaya, permítame que casi no logro identificar. Ahí. Ah, vaya. Voy a arreglarlo acá, tal vez. Se lo voy a mandar y solo lo copio y lo pego. Pero tiene que ser exactamente el guión correcto, no tiene que ser otro. Mm. Ok, ahí tendría eso, pero le faltan las otras unidades. A mí yo tengo problema en ese mismo, pero en la primera... Eh, ya le escribí, pero no, no me sale correcta. Vaya, okay. y el 3 me sale errado también, a pesar de que usted ya me lo dictó. El 3 cuando puso, they would rather withdraw. Uh -huh. product, the product. Ahí tiene que tener algo, algo. Como le digo, eh, si usted lo ve aquí en la plataforma, esto es idéntico a lo que tienen todos. Y yo ya lo escribí, sí me sale bien. Entonces, ya sea un Copia punto. Copia y pega algo, al, perdón. Uh -huh. Porque no le copia y pega al, al chat. Sí, ya se lo pueda... le mandé la otra, pues, porque tenemos que avanzar, ¿verdad? Entonces, esta es la número, la que, ya le mandé la última, la cinco, con el guión, le estoy mandando esta, y le voy a mandar también la primera. Están en desorden, ¿verdad? Pero, eh, si ustedes lo ven aquí, aquí está exactamente, sí, es lo que yo les decía al principio de la plataforma, de las clases. Estas son las que dan problemas, esas son las que tenemos que tener cuidado. Ya no ponga de esas, profe. Piense que esto no lo hago yo, sino que lo hace <risa> la persona ahí de Insafor, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh, nosotros solo chequeamos las de donde tienda web. Sí, <risa> es broma. <risa> no, no, profe. No, no. Ok, uh, y lo que necesitamos también es de que, de que revise el resto, el resto de las... This meeting de, is being recorded. Of course. El, el resto de las de los ejercicios, porque a mí me sale que le faltan algunos, ¿verdad? lo voy a refrescar para decirle más o menos, ahorita tendría que salir ya el uno pues terminado ¿verdad? a ver, si sí, ya le sale como punto, 92 puntos, o sea que todavía hay otro ejercicio ahí que está, en, está no, pero hoy sí, hoy sí está bueno el uno, yo lo tenía malo ah, ok ahí copié el que acaba de poner usted y hoy sí ya me sale bueno Sí, a veces son detallitos, fíjense que es, es bien complejo, ¿verdad? Porque como es el sistema lo que, lo que agarra es exactamente como ellos lo ponen, entonces una cosita de más o de menos ya hace que, que a veces no, no funciona. Yes. Ahora, si gusta, Aida me presenta su pantalla y vemos que hace falta, pero lo podemos o sea, ver cuáles son los que hace falta, no lo podemos resolver todo, pero tendría que hacerlo en en la 
mientras estamos en la clase. Sí, Lick, sí, sí, ahorita voy a... Ok. Ay, ay, lo siento. Es que me he unido del teléfono y la compu, o sea... Lo que tiene que hacer es ponerle mute al otro. Solo le pone mute al otro y ya no se va a ver. Okay. Bye. Es que se le pasa porque tiene dos con audio. Es como cuando uno llama a la radio, ¿verdad? Y tiene a todo volumen la radio, o se oye el mismo eco. Entonces tiene que poner el mute. mute. Ah, ya, ya, a la compu le puse mute ahorita. Ok. Este, vaya, mire, vaya, le doy acá. Puede ver la pantalla, ¿verdad? Así es. Vaya, ahí está. Sí, tiene que borrarlo, tiene que borrar todo y pegar lo que nosotros mandamos, que es lo que han hecho los demás compañeros. Borre, pero tiene que borrar todo, asegurarse de que no le quede nada. Y luego okay. tiene que copiar y pegar. Mira, lo que todos los no. intentos que he hecho. <ríe> Qué oso. <ríe> este, solo que acá lo, ¿cómo se llama? Lo pegué acá, pero me falta uno, el... Quiero ver si este es el que me salió mal, permítame. Mini... Ah, no, no, ese, ese lo tengo bien. Entonces sería este. El de Marker. Este. Vaya, vamos a ver. Eh, eh, no, ese creo que no es. Sí, ya se lo agarró, ¿verdad? Sí, 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 Va, hoy sí. Perfecto, vaya. El último sería... El del guión. Ah, me lo voy a reenviar. Sería el de... No, pero ese no me lo mandaron. No me lo han mandado, no? Y eso lo mandé ahí en el chat, si es el que tiene el guión. Es el primero que yo envié. Ya, sí. Vaya, lo voy a reenviar acá. Para que me quede. Sin espacios, please. Ahí está. No, a mí no me quiere esta plataforma, ¿vale? eh, Vaya, eh, entonces lo único que quisiera que hiciéramos es que se vaya a la unidad a la semana 3 y a la 4 para ver eh, qué tanto le hace falta, porque la 1 ya estaría. Entonces se va ahí a donde dice curso. Ah, bueno. Sí, ahí tiene que, ter tiene que terminarlo antes de la medianoche ahora. That is very, very important for you to finish that one. Vaya, pero acá, este, permítame, yo, ay, me salí. Va, esta, me sale que ya está completa. Va, sí, el 1 sí. Semana. Del 2 está el 88, el 3 está el 0, el 4 está el 0 y le falta el examen final. O sea, esta, eh, o, todo esto es una sola semana, Lee. Exacto. Ah... Va, no, entonces sí, aquí ya, ya estamos bien. En esa semana sí, tiene que ser la 3 y la 4. La 2 la, la puede dejar así. Se termina la 3 y la 4 y el examen final. Recuerda que el examen final tiene cuatro partes, así como el meter test. Estaría me voy, todo. Entonces, ¿a dónde me voy para ver la semana? Porque aquí sí ya me perdí. Si me hace el favor de compartir la pantalla, le podría decir. ¡Ah! Perdón, pensé que estaba compartiendo. Ay, no. Ya ve. No. Qué terrible. Es que mi gatito se paró en, en la computadora, entonces pensé que estaba Vaya. compartiendo. Si se va hasta arriba, donde dice uh -huh. curso, te da clic donde dice curso. Ahí. 
Y luego ahí le va a salir, por ejemplo, si va a sección 3. Le da clic a sección 3. Y le da clic otra vez ahí donde dice cinco preguntas. Ahí le va a salir. Igual con la 4, ¿verdad? O sea, así lo tiene que hacer con la 3 y la 4. Entonces le da clic ahí y ahí le van a salir todos los ejercicios. Mira, ahí no hay nada hecho. Están todos los ejercicios vacíos. Ay, no. Es que, sinceramente, no había visto estas secciones. Lo uh -huh. siento. Entonces ahí sí tendría que hacerlo. Lo puede ir haciendo, pues sí, hay que ir viendo si se va avanzando, ¿ok? Vaya, está bien. Ah, pues sí, ya, ya. Hoy sí. Pero el, la otra está, ya estamos ready, ¿verdad? ¿eh? La 1 la tiene bien, la 2 le falta un poquito, pero si termina la 3 y la 4 y el examen final, estaría bien, le alcanza. Vaya, ahorita. Ok. Gracias, le, le agradezco un montón. It's a pleasure. Ok, uh, now, in the meantime, before we move on to the class, uh, we are going to do the... Uh, Uh, the survey, the INSA for survey, okay? Um, let's check here. So, um, everybody has the information, right? Todos tenemos la información, everybody has the information for you to fill uh, the, the survey. Vamos a llenar la survey todos juntos, al mismo tiempo, al unísono. Everybody. Hey, Jennifer, si ya me sale el 100, everybody is fine, everything is fine with your platform, Jennifer, so everything is good. Okay, so uh, if you don't have the link for the for the survey, I'm going to send you that right now. Okay, this is the link for the survey, so everybody's ready for you to do that one. And uh, let me just check something else here very quickly. Okay. Oops. Okay. Okay, very well. So uh, we're going to watch the video on how to fill the, the survey, okay? And then we're going to do all the progress together. So that is very important. So, um let's do that my friends i'm going to share my screen so you can watch the video como inglés corporativo vamos a apoyarte para poder desarrollar la encuesta de satisfacción de manera correcta vas a recibir a tu correo electrónico personal la información con los datos correspondientes del curso vamos a ingresar y vamos a seleccionar el enlace para poder desarrollar la encuesta de satisfacción. Vamos a regresar al correo que hemos recibido y vamos a colocar el número de la orden de inicio siempre proporcionada por nosotros. La vamos a copiar tal cual está en el correo electrónico y la vamos a colocar en el punto número uno. En el siguiente punto vamos a colocar el nombre completo, que es de cada uno de ustedes. Lo vamos a copiar de igual manera en información que hemos compartido y lo vamos a colocar en el nombre completo. Siguiente a ello, vamos a colocar el correo electrónico personal que ustedes han proporcionado a inglés corporativo. De igual manera, vamos a colocar así el número de contacto que ustedes han proporcionado. Lo vamos a copiar. Y así lo vamos a colocar en el número de celular. Posteriormente, colocamos el sexo. En el punto número 6, vamos a desplazar la flechita y vamos a buscar el departamento de residencia donde ustedes actualmente viven. De igual manera, vamos a colocar el municipio en el cual ustedes están residiendo. En el punto número 8, vamos a colocar el nombre de la empresa. Cuidado en ese punto, ya que vamos a colocar el nombre de la empresa tal cual razón social y nosotros lo tenemos registrado. De igual manera, les hemos compartido 
el nombre correcto para que ustedes puedan colocar. En el nombre del proveedor vamos a colocar de acuerdo a nuestro centro de formación, que es Inglés Corporativo Regal International. Vamos a desplazar la fecha y vamos a buscar el nombre de nuestro centro de formación. Lo seleccionamos y en el siguiente punto vamos a colocar el nombre del curso. De igual manera, vamos a colocarlo tal cual está en la información que nosotros hemos proporcionado, tanto por correo electrónico y por WhatsApp. Vamos a copiar el número del curso y vamos a colocar. En el punto número 11, las evaluaciones que ustedes serán las harán de manera individual y personal según lo que ustedes han vivido en el transcurso del curso. Las fechas de inicio de igual manera las vamos a poder verificar en la información que se ha compartido. En este caso nos vamos a ir al calendario y debemos tener el cuidado ya que en el calendario podemos retroceder o adelantar las fechas. De igual manera, según las fechas proporcionadas, vamos a tener que buscar el mes y la fecha indicada del inicio del módulo. En la fecha de finalización, de igual manera proporcionada por nosotros, vamos a desplazar el calendario y así vamos a seleccionar el día en el cual está finalizando el curso. En el punto número 14, vamos a colocar una valoración personal que ustedes han recibido de parte del desarrollo del curso. Posteriormente, ustedes pueden seleccionar algunos cursos de otro interés o algún comentario que ustedes tengan respecto al trabajo desarrollado. Vamos a darle clic en el botón azul de enviar. Y posteriormente vamos a recibir un mensaje de la respuesta a su enviado. Cuando ustedes han recibido este mensaje, favor de tomar una captura de pantalla, compartirla al grupo de WhatsApp correspondiente junto con su nombre completo, según nosotros los tenemos registrados. Ok, very good. I send you already the link for the survey. And we are going to start, okay? Everybody, uh, everybody has the link already open? Yes, no? Yes. Okay. Yes. So in the number one, it says, orden de inicio. So I have it here. And uh, orden de inicio for us is this one. So, la voy a mandar al grupo para que ustedes quieren solo copiarla y pegar. That will be it. So, you paste it here and that is it. Okay. Everybody finish number one. ¿A alguien le falta la número uno? Finish the chat. Okay. Okay, number two is very easy. Nombre completo. But, Link, okay. eh, ¿podría hacerme el favor de mandarlo al grupo de WhatsApp, porfa? Piense que no tengo WhatsApp en la computadora, no lo puedo mandar ahí. Por eso lo mandé aquí. ¿Algún compañero? Sí, claro, yo lo puedo mandar. El problema. Gracias, Thank you. porfa. porfa. Sí. La, el enlace a mí me cayó en WhatsApp. Eso, eh, no, la orden, arriba. el número de orden, porque el enlace, sí, aquí, aquí lo ah, mandé okay. yo al grupo, ajá, solo la orden. Por porque dice AC29, todo eso. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. sí. Eso también ahí está en, en el grupo de WhatsApp, en la información sí. que mandaron ahora. Sí, toda sí. la información. Y ahí lo copié yo. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver, aquí está. 
voy a mandarlo justo así de que lo copie y lo pueda ver de esta manera. Okay, thank you. Ahí está. Ese, y el nombre del curso también lo voy a pasar porque creo que ese sí puede que lo escriban justo. Yes. Vamos Creo entonces que... a continuar. Ajá. Eh, la número dos es su nombre completo, la segunda vez. Ok. Ok, ¿alguien falta de la número dos para ir a la parte dos? Ok. Número tres, fácil también. Correo electrónico. Su correo electrónico. And that's it. So please enter the email. Your email. El Ramiro es expert. <ríe> ya leyendo, Ramiro. Yeah. Yeah, he did already. Ok. Johnny Walker. Yeah. Today is the day of the celebration. <ríe> Ok, número cuatro también está fácil. Número de celular. Rendía Gracias. por el primero. <ríe> Yeah. Perfecto. El número cinco, femenino más. Todos vamos ya por el número cinco. Number five. Ya estoy Good. Vamos entonces con el 6, que sería el departamento. Por ejemplo, en mi caso sería Santana, donde yo vivo. Entonces ustedes ponen ahí si es un saltador o cualquier otro. Y luego en el número 7, el municipio de residencia. Ese es de digital. Ahora, en el número 8 hay que tener cuidado porque no es el nombre que aparece como oficial, sino que la razón social. Por ejemplo, si usted trabaja en TELUS, no va a poner TELUS, sino que Transactel SADCD, porque esa es la razón social. Entonces, ahí en el número 8 va la razón social de su empresa. Si usted no sabe cuál es la razón social de su empresa, me dice y yo se la digo. Dicha, de, de World Vision es Visión Mundial El Salvador. Ah, ahorita les digo cómo está escrito, porque tiene que ser idéntico como está acá. So, let me check here. Ernesto. Eh, vaya, para ustedes sí sería. Permítame. Visión, misión internacional. Perdón, teacher. Visión, misión internacional. Visión, misión internacional. Así sale, sí. Ok. ¿Alguien más necesita la información de su razón social? Eh, teacher, eh, eh, in, my, in my case. Ok, Juan Roberto. Alcaldía Municipal de Candelaria de la Frontera. Ok, teacher, thank you. Good. ¿Alguien más necesita su razón social? Yo, teacher. Perfecto. Sí, Mauricio. Digitex El Salvador SADCD. ¿Alguien más necesita su razón social? Ok. Ok, the next one is name of the course, el nombre del curso. That is going to be inglés intermedio módulo 3. So, también lo voy a enviar aquí al chat, pero creo que el compañero también ya se lo envió ahí el WhatsApp. So, you just need to copy and paste. So, you copy and paste, and that's it. Puede ser con comillas o sin comillas. No, it's not
Ok, todos vamos por el número 10. Ok, para el número 11, aquí sí ya viene la encuesta. Recordemos de que esto es la, um, la opinión en cuanto a la metodología, ¿verdad? en cuanto a eh, cómo se dio la clase. No tiene nada que ver con horario, con libro, con esa forma, nada por este. Aida. Yes, me. Ajá. Hello. Hola. Sí, en la número 9, ahí sería. Eh, Ah, perdón. Inglés corporativo. Eh... Sí, está. Vale, aquí le sí, da clic. Ajá. Y la busca y aquí dice inglés corporativo Regal International S.A. Uh -huh. Ok, sí, solo quería estar segura. Very good. Okay. Good question. Nice. Yes, yes. I have a question, teacher. Ah. Number eight. In my class. I don't know si es el nombre de mi empresa o es mi nombre. ¿En cuál número, perdón? Nombre 8, número 8, perdón. Es la razón social de su empresa, o sea, el nombre legal de su empresa. Si usted quiere, uh, ¿cómo aparece? Yo se lo digo ahora. O sea, ¿cómo sería, no? Aquí dice, ajá, es un nombre. En, en su okay. caso es un nombre, Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. Ok, thank you. Very good. Me he hecho mil veces y no recuerdo nunca. Ok, no problema. Pero por eso lo hacemos. ¿no? Fíjense que es bien delicado porque si se manda una información que no es la correcta, se invalida la encuesta y por la encuesta inválida no puede pasar así en el módulo. O sea, es bien delicado. Teacher, Dígame. Eh, I reviewed the emails where send me the information about this, this model, mm -hmm. but the social reason for the My company is Visión Mundial El Salvador. Mm, ok. Si ese fuera el caso, entonces para la inscripción del otro módulo, usted puede hablar con uno de inglés corporativo para que le hagan el cambio. Ok, but in this case, teacher, coloco Visión Mundial El Salvador o el que usted me dictó. Mejor el que yo le dicté, porque así es como sale inscrito aquí. No vaya a ser por eso. Ok, entonces, por favor, repítamelo, porque yo, yo había puesto ya el, el, este, este último. Ok. Me yes, dice... it's going to be, let me just go here. Uh, visión, misión internacional. Visión. Uh, visión, misión internacional. Teacher, mm -hmm. can you help me? Ajá. Uh -huh. Can you tell me the name of my company? Of course. I know it's uh, Avicola Salazar SADCB, but uh, I want yeah. to be sure. That is the one, yeah. Avicola Salazar SADCB. That's it. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Okay. Visión, Misión Internacional. Yes. Okay. Okay, teacher. Good. Solo la fecha nos falta. Ah, veamos en entonces ahorita. Let's check. Sí, porque pusimos la evaluación, ¿verdad? Creo que nos falta... Ajá. Let me just go and share with you. Ok, eh, fecha de inicio. It was September the 4th. Where is it? It's going to be... Entonces acá solo le damos clic, ¿verdad? Let's go back a month and look for Monday 4th. Acá si le sale al revés, no pasa nada. Media vez de a 4.9... And uh, the date of the end is going to be today, 10, October the 10th. Okay. October 10th, okay. En el número 14, pues ahí usted pone satisfecho o insatisfecho. Espero que estén satisfechos. Por el 15. Oh, perfect, thank you. Y el número 15 y 16, pues, si usted quiere poner algo, lo pone y si no, no pone nada. Entonces, en el 15, ¿qué otros cursos son de su interés? Y hay algún comentario que usted quiere poner. Pero si no quiere poner nada, también ahí no va a pasar. Okay. Can you repeat, please, uh, 12 and 13? Ok. The 12 is September 4th. El 4 de septiembre. And number 13 is today, October 10th. Thank you. You're welcome. 
Y así finalizamos y empiezo a recibir los screenshots. Hay algunos ya me mandaron. Los screenshots. Tengo el de, si no digo su nombre es porque me falta el suyo. Puede ser foto también. Oscar René Molina Calidonio fue el primero. Ramiro fue el segundo. Verónica Hernández, ya tengo el suyo. Eh, José Alfredo Hueso también. El Enrique Reyes. Jennifer Esmeralda Amaya. Blanca Isabel Tunaca. María Julia Auribar, Silvia Patricia Aceituno, Mónica Wendy Ábalos. Todos lo esos tengo, los demás no los tengo. Teacher, I close the page. Uh, then you have to open that again and do it again. Ah, ok. Okay. Sandra y Anira Gómez, tengo el último de ella. Ok, teacher. Ernesto José Andrade, ya tengo el suyo. Carla Alejandra Castillo, me acaba de llegar el suyo. Aida López. Very good. Oscar Mauricio Rivera. Very good. Me faltan solo unos cuantos. Es, eh, disculpe, teacher, en la número uno, ¿qué es lo que debo de poner? La pregunta número uno del cuestionario. ¿De la encuesta? Sí, sí ahí va a poner esto que pasaron. Esto ya lo mandaron ahí al WhatsApp y también lo pasé yo aquí al, al, al chat. Entonces, este es, tiene que ser exactamente eso está como en el, en el, eh. ¿Y eso está en el grupo o está en el correo? Está en el grupo, en el correo y está en el chat de acá. Ah, perfecto. Muchas gracias. Voy a buscarlo ahorita. Gracias. Ok. Recibí ya el de Juan Roberto Velázquez. Copiar. Si le falta algún otro, me avisa y le ayudamos con gusto. Acabo de recibir el de Víctor Eduardo Reyes. Tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. Pero que no me falte. Sí, creo que ya tengo el de la mayoría. Check. Okay. We are almost done. Very good. Perfecto. Ya tengo el de Verónica Burgos. Y oh, el de Oseas. Very good. I guess we can continue that. Well,
Okay, my friends, um, we're going to check very quickly the reading, the last reading that we have here. And then we have a homework, right? For tonight that you are going to show a presentation, the last one. But before that one, let's check this little reading that we have here. Okay, so it says, um, what are the best customer loyalty programs in the country? We checked that already. Do you remember that we were discussing about that one? Uh, so I'm going to read and you are going to check pronunciation and then vocabulary. It says, Mac Cosmetics, a brand by Steve Loader, has a loyalty program for online shoppers and it features three tiers. The first tier is called Seduced. To join this tier, you don't need to make a purchase. You just need to sign up in the web page. Perks in this tier include early access to limited edition products. Tier two is called Devoted. You get access to this tier by spending $150 or more in a year. There is also early access to select collections complimentary express makeup application and more. Tier three is named Obsessed. For customers who spend more than $500 per year on products, members of this tier get to be the first to shop in certain collections and also get complimentary services. Mac keeps customers engaged and the tiers keep customers motivated and move the company to get more exclusive content. Amazon Prime for 99 a year. Amazon Prime offers not only free shipping, but also other benefits such as live streaming music, movies, and TV shows, storage for digital photos and more. Benefit of this loyalty program can exceed the annual fee for those who take full advantage of the membership. In return, members get a host of benefits ranging from free next day delivery and returns to access to the Kindle lending library to unlimited streaming of videos and music. For many Prime members, the initial interest in Prime is piqued by the promise of free next day delivery. If you purchase something from Amazon every month, then Prime will save most people money over the course of the year. So, do you have any pronunciation questions? Or vocabulary questions? Just to check in the first line, Cosmetics, a brand by Steve, is the good pronunciation. Steel, yeah. Steel Lauder. Steel Lauder, okay. Mm -hmm. In the, in the, uh, la penultima línea, mm -hmm. Prime is picked. Picked? Picked. 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 Picked, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, any other questions? In the second line, teacher, is in the first word, tears. Tear. 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 Okay. In the same second line, teacher, excuse me. Mm -hmm. uh, the 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 first tiers is called seduced. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. Seduced. Okay. Good. Any other questions that you might have?
um, teacher. And mm -hmm. I don't know one, two, three, four in the five, five lines. Years three is named obsessed. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. And and what is the correct pronunciation? The Mac Kev customers and and judge it. Engaged. 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 Thank you. Very good. Any other questions? Yes, coach. Mm -hmm. uh, the my friend said uh, engage. What is the meaning? Very good. Engage is like comprometido. When you are engaged, for example, when you ask a woman to get married, you are engaged. You have a commitment, right? So that is to be engaged. It's like, like a enganchado. Enganchado, yeah, something like when you are really want to do something. So let's check some. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, let's check something. Still louder is a name. Okay, so that is not so important. Um, tears. Okay, that is a very good question, actually. A very good word. A tear is like segment. When you have different uh, levels, let's say. For example, in the banks, uh, there are different tiers depending on the kind of customers that you have. So depending on the tier uh, is, for example, the amount of interest that you are going to pay. So it's like segments of something. Uh, let's see. Purchase. What is purchase? Compras. Very good. Teacher, tiers is like a levels. It's like levels. Yeah. Different levels. Yeah. But it's like a segment, you know? It's like from here to here, we're in the first tier. And then from here to here, we're in the second tier. So it's like a, a, a segment of, of a level. That's why uh, oh, yeah. using that, that phrasing in gas, for example, top tier. Exactly. Okay. That would be good. Okay, the other one is sign up. What is sign up? Inscrito. Very good. So it's the process when you inscribe in a website, in a, anything that you want to do. So in this case, in a program. Okay, the other one is perks. What is perks? Benefits. Benefits. Very good. So perks is a synonym of benefits. Uh, let's say devoted what is devoted devoto devoto let's see what else remember this is complementary not complementary it's complementary okay it's like a compliment uh -huh. let's see obsessed well, we check what is engaged already, right? So, for example, people they can be engaged in a company, right? So you say, "Miss, this company is the best for me. I will stay with you." Teacher and yes. the word picked. Ah, okay, pick. Uh, it, that comes from the verb pick. Uh, that is picar. So that is it. Picar como. Uh, it's not like chop. It's like, uh, for, se for example, when people, they want you to be engaged, they send you things and then you are picking, right? So that is it. En español, quedar picado va con algo. Exactly. That is it. <laughs> that is it. Uh, let me see if there is any other. What is streaming 
Okay, the streaming, uh, it refers to videos, okay? When you have a video, that is a, a stream. You are watching stream, okay? Uh, uh, yeah, transmission. What is storage? Storage, tienda. Store is... Almaten. Almacenar. Almacenar, very good. Almacenamiento, almacenar, storage. Very good. Almacenar. What is exceed? Excedió. Very good, excedent. And what is fee? Free. Gratis. O no, libre. Free. Tarifa. Tarifa. Exactly. Es como Tarifa. un pago que se hace. Es fee. Very good. Ah, que es fee, no free. Mm -hmm. Sí. Tarifa. And what is membership? So, yeah. Membresía. Membresía. Very good. Membresía. What is host? Host. Anfitrión. Very good. Host. And for women is hostess. Anfitrión. What is ranging? Ranging. 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 Rango. 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 Hmm? Rango. 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 Very good. Es como de un rango. rango. Un periodo. Very good. What is... Okay. Kindle is the name of a tablet from Amazon. So, that is the name of the, Kindle. the tablet. Kindle. Kindle. Uh, we check this one. Let's see. Kindle. 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 Okay. Hmm? That is it. Okay, uh, we are not going to read because we don't have much time and I want to listen to your presentations. But if we have the time later on, maybe we can read, okay? So let's see how it goes. Uh, well, actually, this is the last one. Uh, we are going to do the exercise. Uh, no, we are not going to do the, this. is something totally different. This is the end of the book. And we are done. Congratulations, teacher. Nice. Let's go to sleep. Now, I want to listen to your presentation. So, this is the time for homework, my friends. So, the first question is, who is going to be the first one? Who wants to start the presentation? Me, teacher. Very good, Ernesto. Let's listen to Ernesto. Okay, okay, teacher. Um, can I share the PowerPoint? Yes, of course, you can. Okay, teacher. Um, uh, can you see that? Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, good evening, everyone. Um, in this class, um, I will try to speak in English in a specific topic that uh, the teacher mentioned the last the last week uh, in in this in this moment uh, the presentation for me is about the the interview interview for a job um, remember remember partners uh, and teacher when when you were in a job interview um, in this moment uh, you feel different different uh, moment and in the in the question in in a specific moment is okay. what do you feel in the time or in a specific moment when uh, start the interview and you feel nervous you feel anxious you feel more or less insecure uh, but uh, the interviewer um, ask you as at least Two, two basic or two simple questions. And in the two, two basic questions uh, are, uh, for example, the first, the first question is, tell me about yourself. But um, for me, 
tell me about yourself is a simple question because it's uh, about, about you, about your family, about your career, uh, about yourself. In my case, myself, for example. For example, my name is Ernesto Jose Andrade. Uh, I live alone uh, in, an, in an apartment very, very close to the Cuscatlan Stadium. Um, for, for my information about my family partner, um, I have an um, old, old sister, younger brother, and I have a twin. My twin, uh, her name is Luzma, Luz Maria Andrade. Uh, Luz Maria Andrade is my, my twin is a, she is a singer, a local singer. Uh, if you can uh, watch uh, in the YouTube, you can write Luz Mandrade. Luz Mandrade uh, is her, is her uh, artistic name. Uh, and you can watch uh, the video about my twin singer. Uh, the, other, the other topic, if you can, is possible to talk uh, in the interview, is your career, for example, in my case, my career, uh, I have a degree in economics and I have a master in local development. A two career, uh, I started in the University Central America, UCA. And uh, <laughs> currently, uh, I work at World Vision El Salvador since um, more or less, Seven, seven years. Uh, my first position in the World Vision uh, is, was a was, um, sound coordinator for the field operations. In the last, the last, the last year, uh, I have a new position. Uh, it's a operation manager. Is for, for me, it's a, a good experience. And um, this is the information about, about myself and uh, the other information for example about my family um, I live very very close uh, to my mom's house in in this house uh, my mom uh, lived with my brothers and three aunts and the other the other question uh, the first question uh, as mentioned tell me about yourself the, the second question the interviewer asked you is, is what are your hobbies? For example, in my case, my hobbies is um, Sundays play football soccer in the in the afternoon and read uh, a very good book about leadership and watch a lot of series. I love the series, for example, Netflix and HBO Max. And currently, uh, in Disney, I watch the series about Star Wars. Uh, its name is Ahsoka. It's very, very good and very, very interesting. But this is the two specific questions in this moment, the interview. But uh, the, last, the last slide is about a little recommendation for me. Uh, for example, the first uh, recommendation is uh, always, always prepare your interviews. Prepare uh, days ago uh, and list, list uh, your goals and your good abilities and also soft and technical abilities is very, very important. Prepare your interview. The second recommendation is, um, is, is very, very important partner trust trust in you and trust in your abilities. In the last one, and for the interviewer, it's very, very important uh, that you feel calm and transmit, transmit tranquility. Uh, partners, teacher, this is my presentation. Thank you. Very good, perfect. Thank you very much. Interesting and Thanks. nice topic. Any questions for Ernesto?
Okay, very good. Thank you very much, Ernesto. So, who wants to be the next one? That is the next question. Me, teacher. Very good. Let's go ahead. Okay, this is uh, my presentation. It's a uh, other topic, very different. Uh, this is uh, I wanna talk it about to the. Uh, you can hear my my screen. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Excuse me, can no. Yeah, we can we can see the screen. Yeah. Yes. I have a problem. Okay. Give me one minute, please. Oh, do 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 do. No sé por qué no se deja ver. Lo estábamos viendo, pero después ya no se veía. Sí. Algún día va a caer. <ríe> <ríe> Ahí está. Ahí está. Ah, perfecto. Todavía eh... no lo veo, pero yo la vi. Si quieren, no okay. le muevo nada, que de repente se tarda. Sí. Chévere. Que me aparece la última. Hoy sí. Yes, very good. <clears throat> okay, I want talking about the uh, uh, this a topic is a very interesting. Is a uh, we no 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 is a enough from our mind uh, uh, outside. What it is? What that? What uh, uh, what is in the space? He um, many scientific made the James Webb. James Webb is a was a scientific very important. Can, who is a uh, main uh, the uh, telescope uh, for looking the space? more near uh, is a uh, very important that the studies all the secret of the universe this is a telescope can see uh, uh, for the many places in the universe is uh, is possible to see right now is the most advanced, advanced uh, telescope in, in the world. Uh, this for, was uh, uh, launched uh, into orbit uh, uh, two years ago only, and uh, begin to the, uh, the uh, uh, sending many images uh, and pictures uh, what uh, this uh, very interest uh, this is a uh, some some detail okay no this is uh, this is a uh, was possible after years for delays and more than 10 million in in investigation in the investment this this is investigation uh, f was a uh, budgeted time t time uh, ten times uh, uh, the telescope was launched uh, into a space from French Guyana uh, is a uh, all day send picture uh, you can see only put in the internet James Webb in the start to the look at all the uh, pictures 
and with a details uh, with a uh, detail uh, well all the show with a uh, very uh, very uh, detail very can see very well okay uh, this is my presentation for tell you uh, this is a most uh, uh, interest. Very good, perfect. This is a very interesting thing. And yes, uh, the universe is amazing. And thanks for this uh, kind of devices, we are able to understand better things. Very good presentation. Thank you. Okay, who wants to be the next one? Ah. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. I, I, I am not the next. Oh, why not? <laughs> okay. Uh, I I I have uh, a question about the open inside because I I look in the uh, application. And send me a message that need a, a password. The password for to enter to enter the application of less productive. I use the, the, the password. Uh, sorry, I, I use my my email. Uh -huh. But in the WhatsApp message, uh, I don't look if I don't. I don't see good, but I don't look the, the password. Mm -hmm. Well, the password is the same. It's the generic one. Everybody has the same password. That is one, two, three, four, five. Okay, okay. But I don't remember that. Okay, good. I, uh, the near, I, I, the next, I am. Oh, very good. So let's listen to you. Uh, so, are you going to to tell us what we're preparing? No worry about that. Hearing me. Okay. Okay. And I, for me, is a, a presentation about me. Is my name is Roberto Carlos Aguilar Rivera. I am lawyer, an independent lawyer. And I counselor in the mayor of the Oquinta, and I have twenty five years old. And uh, for me, is a, a special uh, opportunity to learn English with this platform because it's the first time for me this uh, platform, and I believe that this is very interesting because. Uh, Give me uh, another perspective about to the to the learn English. I I know the little English, but in my case is for uh, I read uh, some uh, books, some articles in the in the news. Uh, I hearing music and English, and uh, so a part of the. Uh, the formal uh, teach and the school and the um, high school uh, in basic and in the university, but never uh, take a, a course of English in, uh, formal. And for me, in this occasion, for me, is the first uh, opportunity. But I think that is a uh, one space very important for my formation, and uh, in the case of the 
uh, in the professional, in the personal, because the English is another door that open uh, new opportunities for a uh, one second language. Uh, I have the, the, the um, opportunity to uh, speak with uh, American people uh, or citizen of the United States. And when I hear that he or she speak, I am loose because he is not, not is the same to hear uh, the, the fluid uh, speak person that uh, with the little uh, know that, that, that I have. But it's very interesting because uh, the last week I can speak, uh, spoke with the, a friend in the United States and for that, uh, uh, in that occasion, uh, he uh, understand me one more or a little more than before. He, for me, is a very important that situation. Uh, I I I wait that all yours uh, looking me a friend, and I wait that the, if I I will see you in some place and can give my hand and can uh, say hello uh, in the, of the near form. Uh, thank you for the space, for your amability and for choice uh, and sorry for chair, uh, your, know, your knowledge with us. Very good, perfect, nice presentation. It's very good that you are able to speak with people from other countries. So that is very nice. So we are moving on and learn. That is perfect. Thank you. Okay, who wants to be the next one? Okay, I'm going to check then. Juan Roberto. Okay, teacher, can I share my, my screen? Of course. Okay. Uh, well, good evening, everyone. Today I'm going to talk about a very delicious season fruit. That that fruit is Jocote Corona. Jocote Corona is a fruit grown in Mexico and Central America. Its scientific scientific name is Spondias purpurea L. It has a lot of benefits. For example, it's a natural anti-inflammatory anti and soothe colic. Uh, Jocote Corona can be eaten in jelly, bread, frozen, and just the fruit. Last Sunday was the Festival del Jocote Corona on National Park Cerro Verde in our country, where a lot of people sell their products about that delicious fruit. Uh, well, that's all. Thank you. Very good, perfect, delicious, very nice. That is a very good thing. <laughs> Thank you very much for sharing. Yeah, I, I believe that it's time for this fruit, so we can enjoy that. Okay, the next one is Blanca Tunaka. I don't know. Oh. I am prepared the presentation. The last, the last time, finish. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Do you have the presentation, or you just wouldn't speak? I speak. Okay. 
Al final. At the end. Okay. That is fine. Okay. So let's see then with Oseas Figueroa. Okay. <clears throat> I have some problems, teacher. Yeah, I believe that you are at the end of the presentation. We can see the presentation, but you are in the last slide. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to share with you uh, um, something uh, very briefly. So I'm going to talk about renewable energy. What is renewable energy? Renewable energy is energy um, derived from natural sources that are replenished at a higher rate than they are consumed. Sunlight and wind, for example, are such sources that are constantly being replenished. Renewable energy sources are plentiful and all around us. And we have some examples, uh, for example, solar energy, wind energy and hydroelectricity. Uh, Non-renewable energy, uh, fossil fuels, coal, oil, and gas, on the other hand, are non-renewable resources that take hundreds of millions of years to form. Fossil fuels, uh, when born to produce energy, cause harmful greenhouse gas emissions, such as carbon dioxide. dioxide. Types of non-renewable energy, coal, natural gas, oil, nuclear energy. And a short reflection. As you know, when we change the natural stage of things, something wrong is going to happen. And we are seeing the consequences right now. Droughts, floods, global warming, hurricanes, extreme temperature. It depends on all, all of us to take care of our planet. Are you doing your part? And we have in our hands the future of our world. And that's it. Okay, very good, perfect. This is a very interesting topic and something that we need to consider for the future. So it's a worldwide thing. Very good, thank you, Osas. Uh, let's listen now to. Hey, uh, puedo ir, uh, my turn, teacher. Of course you can. Yes, I tried. Okay, you're a shot. Okay. Uh, um, okay, presentation. Mm -hmm. oh, no. Pero no es esa.
que como que está fallando esto, espera un segundito. Ok, no problema. Ok, you look my pictures. Ah, uh, yes. Nice ok. Ok. I talk about the, the war in the Israel in Palestina. Uh, what is the name of the war between in Israel and Palestina? Six day war to so call it six day war. took place with ended with Israel victory over Egypt Egypt Egypt, Egypt in this attempt to retire retake Palestinian territory history annexes Gaza the Egyptian Sinai the West Brand and the Syrian Golan's hate you look the The maps in Palestina is colored green. Israel uh, in 19, 1946. Uh, in 19, next year, to, next year in 19, 1997, Israel is colored white. In 1970, no, 1967, 20 years is uh, the Gaza, annexes Gaza, is, is a color green, small territory. Is the, the small Small um, in Gaza, in the Palestina is uh, the is the habitants the Hamas in in the problem is the oh, sorry is Hamas in Palestina is. Is more is bigger Israel in the occupation for the desert. Uh, and the question is who 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 in the Israel in Palestine war? Why? The sorry. Uh, in January in. Uh, 1949, big stall began, began the Israeli state treatment in the conflict and retained 18% for Palestinian territory, which was uh, validated. And B and the ONU Security Council. Uh, who is, and another question is, who is older Israel of Palestina? Uh, who was the first to possess the land Israel of Palestina in 1947? Neither Palestina nor Israel existed, but the gems, giant, independence for the British and formed Israel. The idea of the Palestinian nation did not come to light how till 1974 with the creation of the PLO, PLO, Palestina. Uh, another question is, what country was Palestina before? The region, re, regions of Palestine was part of Ottoman Syria under the real rules of the Ottoman spirit 
for few for four centuries until World War One signs the 18, 1819s, the show for, uh, was part of the separate Southampton. Oh, what, what is the pronunciation, teacher? Southampton. Mm, that is a difficult. San, San Jack, oh, yeah, something like that. San Captain <laughs> of Jerusalem. Correct, Jerusalem. Why, why the North depends? on the big village, village of Beirut and the uh, east of the Jordan River, the pent of the village, village of Damascus. It's a history interesting for the world is the many, many people dead for no reason. I don't understand for the uh, tanto, como se dice odio, era lo que le, hired. Hate. Hate. Hater. Yeah, that is true. It's something crazy that this, I mean, that still exists, these things, right? So this is a very old war. It's very, very old. So. Yes. Yes, it's a war. is the uh, is the problem for the reason in the help? Yeah, yeah. Well, okay, it's, it's my presentation. Yeah, very good, very good. Nice topic, very good. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay, good. Who is going to be the next one? Ah, Aida, okay, very good. Yes, me, teacher. <laughs> okay, let me share the screen. Okay, can you see the screen? Yes. Okay, um, now I'm going to talk about the procrastination. Um, okay, first of all, we need to understand what is procrastination. Procrastinating uh, consists of deliberately postponing important pending tasks that we have in the day, for example, uh, despite having the opportunity to carry them up. Um, First of all, we need to understand that procrastination is a behavior that we have in our free time, for example, because in most of the case, we prefer to, to spend time, uh, for example, uh, watching TV or uh, um, check our platform, for example, Instagram, uh, Facebook, and Twitter, if you have, oh, in this case, the new app is Truth, I guess. I'm not sure about the name of the new platform that it sees in our time. Um, okay, but we can avoid this kind of behavior. How avoid the procrastination? And the first part, we need to, uh, okay, understand that we have a problem. Okay, a problem with our schedule and we need to organize the time uh, at the day. If you have, for example, a task for presenting the, the day, <laughs> okay, you need to do, do the task. Okay, uh, don't procrastinate. Uh, another option is divide that the, the time. For example, if you have uh, two hours uh, in your job at the break, you need to to complete the, the task or the um, exam, for example, if you if you have, okay? Uh, we need to understand that we need to um, divide the time, or the free time, okay, the lunch time, for example, and uh, understand that we need to complete our obligation that we have in a college, in the work, for example, in the job. I'm sorry. Um, okay, that's all. 
Thank you for your attention. <laughs> Very good. Nice topic. Yeah, procrastination is, I believe, in Latin America, is something that we all do, right? So it's a behavior that we need to control and manage, definitely. Very good, perfect. So let's check who's missing. Maria Julia. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Y my presentation is a. Uh... The, the challenge of technology. In, in my, my presentation is about how important technological advance are, are for future generation uh, as has they represent a challenge to always keep with with the the chain the chains the they be attentive to to training and the researching continuously to always be a behavior to compete with the demand of the labor market is a is more important is my a, a, uh, people's young people's uh, is a uh, is a is a important the change is a uh, important is a uh, study is a uh, important learning uh, is 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 more important. Uh, technology trend for to two thousand. 23 what has already successful that what the what has fallen by the website and new bet gener generation is a uh, artificial intelligence of computing computing green technology um all all are local and no call is the metaverse quant Quantum computing is a is a change is is the um, is a change in technology. Uh, Two thousand twenty three is my presentation. Very good, perfect. Thank you very much. It's a very nice topic, and I mean, it's something that we need to consider, right? Not only English, but we need to learn about technology so that is a very good thing perfect thank you and uh who's missing let's see um jonathan figueroa not possible hey monica avalos Awesome. Let's see who else. It's Mauricio. Ah, Sandra Gomez. Very good. Let's go with. Okay, teacher. Nice. I don't. I know. I don't presentation. Okay. Don't. I just want right. to talk about how I feel Very good. about learning English. Okay. Uh, sometimes frustrated, sometimes activity, and sometimes with many limitations. For example, tired, tired, I don't know, but important, I think the, the series that I have to learn and develop in practice. I, 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 I thank you. Okay. Thank you, teacher, for how you learn it and about even to something. I didn't understand much. <laughs> <laughs> because of some third good language, I stay for today with everything. I thank you for my classroom, classmate, pardon. Rene, thank you for helping me and homework. 
<laughs> I I invite you to continue our, our class, the English. Let's remember that we are giving more that oil for learning. For learning. Thank you, teacher, very much. Okay. Yeah, yeah, very good. It's a nice topic. I mean, uh, I mean, learning something, not only English, is a process, right? So you are doing a very good job. If you learn something a little bit, you are moving on. So that is yes, the most yes. important. Yes, I, I, I understand the, um, very much. Very good. Perfect. Thank you for your uh, presentation. Excuse me, teacher. I want a reinforcement. Uh, the uh, Sandra talking about, I, I think uh, in this uh, model, uh, I learned very so much. Um, I I tried uh, talking uh, in English, but uh, it's it's very difficult. Uh, but I want thank you. Uh, licenciado Acevedo. Thank you. Oh, it's a pleasure. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah it's, it's very nice, you know. Um, all, all the levels are different, all the teachers are different, and sometimes uh, we try to do different activities so you are motivated to continue learning. So I know, I know it's not easy because of many reasons. There are many reasons. Uh, only, as we were discussing before, right? Only to come to classes after the work. I mean, that is very difficult. And I know that you have your family and you have you have many other things to do, right? Uh, but it's good that you are here and that you are motivated to continue because that is why we are here. Life is is hard sometimes, so we need to move on, right? We need to continue learning. So it's nice. It's nice to be here with you. <laughs> okay, let's see who is missing. We say, uh, Veronica Burgos. Not possible. What about? Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Good. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, let me. A few minutes. I wanna see if, if I can share some picture. Okay. Um. Okay. I don't know if you can see the picture. Yes, very nice. Yeah. Okay, I want to talk about that that uh dance. Uh since two years, uh, I find this very dance in my life when I feel very um tired about my work, and I feel so happy when I go to dance to my school. Um. Uh, if I, I have to say something about that, uh, I can recommend to all professionals because uh, we are um, <clears throat> approximately, no sé cómo se pero, um, we are 80 women to dancing in this school. Uh, many school have presentation in national theater in another place. But we have to practice every week uh, for two days every week. And sometimes when we have to go to practice on weekends, it's a uh, very hard this because how to team no. then uh, the the picture i am in the picture yeah we can see 
Uh, after my work, I am a lawyer in my, but, but I, I can go a path with the other women and I feel very good, very good with them. Okay, that's all. Oh, very good. Okay. <laughs> nice. It's very nice that you can share the your hobby with us. So it's a very good thing. And, yes, and I this, love to do that. Yeah, I was going to tell you that as well. So it's very nice that you find something that you love, right? Because yeah, the work is very important, but you need to live, right? And you need to be yes. happy. It's beautiful victory. Yeah, very nice. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Perfect. Let's see who else is missing. Uh, Jennifer Amaya. Mm, okay, maybe not. Uh, okay, Blanca, you are ready. Nice. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm uh, ready. Okay, go ahead. My presentation. Good night. Is presentation my city? Uh, I I live in Nahuizalco City. Is my my home my 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 home? And Nahuizalco crafts and com comments to gastronomy. Um, Nahuizalco, which was one part of Guatemala is one of those cities whose rich history takes us back to our people roots. But currently, this traveling city seeks to attract tourists for its furniture, crafts, and its popular night market. Uh, located the Department of Sonsonate in El Salvador, it it is also the first stop um, on the route of flowers. And one of the cities that keeps a lot of history of ingenious pe people in, in its roots. Thank you. Okay, very good. Yeah, it's a very nice place there. So I know it's a... Uh... A lot of crafts and a lot of uh, beautiful things that you can find there. So it's a very good thing. Thank you, Blanca. Okay. Um, Carla Alejandra Castillo. I have a hand. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, my topic is mental disorders and social networks. Well, the use of the social media um, has a significant impact in the society and specifically in the mental health because um, increases of esteem and improve a sense of belonging, but has like a bad side. And in one of these things is can lead people to tremendous stress, pressure to compare oneself to others and increase sadness and isolation. Social media use has associations with depression, also with anxiety, and as mentioned, low self-esteem too. It also it has also been shown to be associated with feelings of loneliness, dissatisfaction, and and other things. And it 
okay, these are some signs social media is affecting your mental health. And one of them is distract you from work. The other is you use it to escape bad emotions. And one of the things that I've been uh, watching about the social media is sometimes um, it works like an anesthesia to people. Maybe we don't have to, or we don't want, or we don't have the tools to deal with the with the emotions. Maybe we don't have the um, emotional intelligence to deal with some things, and and maybe we use the social media to just let this and delay to deal with that. Then also is you're being troll or cyberbullied. You spend more time online than with family and friends, sometimes better. And feelings of anxiety, depression, and loneliness are spiking. And also I I found some of the syndromes or mental disorders that are common because of the bad use of the social networks. And one of them is the body dysmorphic disorder. And I found that having to constantly upload photos with a perfect image and using filters, right? And always people is comparing themselves with other people. And this caused that many to end to having serious conflicts and many people have to like is the como is como recurrir a cirugías surgeries right and it's something that we can see right now many influencers do that and and that cause that other people that is not influencer do the same also we, well, I found that anorexia and bulimia, people maybe are like avoiding to eat healthy or not ill, and in which involve an fear of gaining weight. And also have the, the most common are anxiety, depression, and I found also FOMO, that is a syndrome, fear of missing out. It's like a fear of, of missing all the notification or knowing the, the last news. And this is the, that I found in my search about the, how the social media or the social networks can affect the mental health. That's it. Thank you. Very good. Perfect. Very interesting. And yes, sometimes we don't think about these kind of things, right? So, but everything that we do affects us, right? And affects our environment, our people, our friends, our family. So, definitely, it's not just for fun, but we need to be careful about certain things. Thank you, Carla. Uh, who else is missing? Let's see. Jose Alfredo Hueso. No, no. I believe everybody else is did it. Okay. Oh, Mauricio Rivera. Yeah, no possible. Yeah, I believe that the rest of the people you did it. Okay, um, it was a very good, very good set of presentations. Um, there are many things that we can speak. And, you know, it's very interesting because English is not only grammar and pronunciation. It's this. It's communication, right? So English is a way for you to, to express in different ways. So you can do whatever you want. You can express whatever you want. You can express something that is interesting or uh, something that you find fascinating or a hobby, something that makes you happy. 
So these classes are very good, not only because of the English that we are learning, but also because of all the things that we are doing. Sometimes we learn from our, our friends here in the class, right? Sometimes we learn something small, something very interesting. And uh, English opens also a window to many other things. I mean, for example, if you want to research about something, uh, the most interesting information is going to be always in English, right? The most important information, the most advanced information is going to be always in English. So, and you have been doing a very good job. So I have seen this group. I believe that you are, for first of all, very interested. That is one of the most important things that you really want to move on and that you want to learn about not only English, but a lot of things, right? Uh, and uh, I'm very sure that if you continue, remember that this is a process, right? Um, if you continue coming to the classes and also practicing in your free time, you are going to you are going to to accomplish a lot of things, and English is going to be part of that one. So I'm very sure. So don't don't forget that you need to continue practicing not only in the class. Remember that today we finish, tomorrow there's no class, but you can practice five minutes, 10 minutes. I mean, that is very, very important. Uh, try to find something that is interesting for you. If you want to read, if you want to watch a video, if you want to learn something, something that is interesting for you and you will be able to move on in a happy way. I know that sometimes it's difficult. It's difficult sometimes to speak because you have a lot of words in your mind, a lot of ideas that you want to put together, right? But that is normal. It's part of the process. So remember that also there are many ways of saying something. You don't have to remember that specific word. There are other words that are similar. And then you can express your ideas. Also practice by writing. Writing is a very good thing. Um, another practice that you can do on that one is that you can have a journal in English. I mean, a little idea every day is going to be very good. There is a lot of resources out there, uh, websites, applications, many, many things. And uh, that's it. I mean, you really need to continue. Please don't stop. Even when you graduate, I mean, remember that you are going to finish this, you are going to go to the advance, and then you are going to do the certification that is the TOEFL. That is a test that takes two hours for you to finish. It's not difficult. It's a little bit challenging, right? But even when you finish that, you need to continue, okay? If it's possible, speak with people uh, in advanced levels or in other countries, right? And uh, in a few years, maybe we can meet there in New York speaking English in person. So that would be fantastic. So um, it's very important that. Also remember that everybody, everybody learns in different ways. We are different. We are unique. So you need to learn about yourself. You need to know yourself, know what motivates you, know what you want to achieve. And then you are going to find a way, not only for English, but for everything in life. Life is amazing, it's difficult, and it's easy. It's both, right? So um, the challenge is to continue and to achieve many things. So. For me, it was a pleasure to be with you uh, these five weeks. Time flies, right? So you, I mean, mine, we just started. We just finished already. So time flies. But I, I was very happy to be here with you. Um, this is why I really like to teach English, because I want to meet people. You are very interesting, very nice. And continue. Continue with this one, okay? Never stop learning. English and then French and then any other thing that you want to do. So it was amazing. 
this is the final class. I don't know if we're going to be on the next level or in the advance. That is possible. So, but if that is the case, it will be a pleasure to be with you. Teacher, I just want to say one thing. Sorry, Ernesto. Oh, no, go ahead. <laughs> okay, I, I just want to say thank you because you are a great teacher. Um, just for you know, one of my greatest fear is the speaking because for a long time I've been trying to learn English mm -hmm. and I have already la about 10 years trying to learn and because I worked at a at a bilingual school that helped me a lot but I have a little trauma because when I was a teenager I was humiliated by a teacher and that's <laughs> caused me a great trauma so the fact that to talk about in English is a great challenge for me and with your your teachings i i try to to better this so i just want to say thank you and i hope you will be the, the teacher at the next level okay. perfect thank you for your words and yeah sometimes happen you know people sometimes they they i don't know why they are teachers they don't want to motivate motivation <laughs> is one of the most important things right uh but you you have a very good accent you have a very nice pronunciation so you are almost there so please continue and thank you for your words in the in the same feeling that carla mentioned teacher thank you for teach teach us in this in this five five weeks uh, I, uh, I feel very good because um, speaking English and uh, a lot of years ago and I feel nervous, uh, I feel anxious, but uh, for your for your class, uh, I think different. I, I, I think uh, okay, the, the English is not it's not uh, hard, but it's the constant, a daily routine for a speak, hear, and understand. But uh, in in this class, uh, I feel good, teacher. Thank you. Thank you for for your advice. Thank thank you for 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 teach us and and thank you, teacher. Thank you for your words. That motivates me to continue. You know, mm -hmm. because yeah, everybody we are learning. Sometimes I learn a lot from you. So it, it was a pleasure to be here with you. Okay, so we're going to check the attendance and then let's go to bed, right? Because we need to sleep. Aida Isabel Lopez Bonilla. I'm here, teacher, and I want to say you thank you for your support, okay? And thank you for uh, your patience, okay? Thank you so much. It was a pleasure, Aida. Thank you. <laughs> Ana Veronica Hernandez Rodriguez. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodriguez. Present teacher, thank Good. you. Ay, Dios mío. Eric Enrique Reyes Martínez. Ernesto José Andrade Medina. Good teacher. Very good. Ingrid Paola Hernández Tenorio. Jennifer Esmeralda Amaya Arias. Jonathan Ariel Figueroa Rivera. Present teacher. Good. Jose Alfredo Hueso López. Present teacher, present. Good. Juan Roberto Velázquez Romero. Here teacher. Perfect. Carla Alejandra Castillo. Here teacher. Good. María Julia Ramos Olivar. Present teacher, thank you. It's a pleasure. Monica Wendy Avalos Girón. Good. Oscar Mauricio Rivera González. Oscar René Molina Calidonio. Present teacher. Perfect. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Oseas Figueroa Cisneros. Thank you, teacher. 
Presente. Eh, Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Present teacher, and thank you. It's a pleasure. Roberto Carlos Avilés Rivera. Dear teacher, I only want to say that it's for me amazing experience to learn English with you. Uh, for me, is, uh, you are a great teacher uh, in a great placemate. And I'm waiting for all yours in uh, second Monday, Sunday, sorry, of November in the International Day of the Pupusas here. Ah, oh, very good. We're going to be there. Nice. Oh, nice. Yes. Yeah. is the city of the Pupusas. It's Hollywood. Three Pupusas with a cup of Johnny Walker. Yeah. <laughs> or, or, or minus a uh, uh, tequila. Tequila Roberto Brand. <laughs> Very okay, good. Take care of, take care of. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Sandra Yanira Gomez Romero. The present teacher, I hope see next level. <laughs> that will be amazing. <laughs> Very good. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Mendez. Victor Eduardo Reyes Navarrete. Present teacher, and thank you for this supper. It was a pleasure. And Veronica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Hi, teacher. Thank you. I'm, I'm present. And Better thank you for you. all. <laughs> it's a pleasure. Okay, my friends. So this is the end. But I hope I can see you again in the classes or on the street. So if we meet on the street, we're going to speak in English, not Spanish. See you and have a very good night. Rest a lot and dream in English. The final countdown, teacher. Yeah. Thank, <laughs> Thank you, you, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good night. It's a pleasure. Good night, teacher. 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 Good night, teac